Hello, hello. Um, welcome back. I'm back with another reading for you, another message. If this is your first time, I welcome you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, hi. Thank you for your continuous love and your support. I really and truly appreciate you. Thank you so very much. So you remember, you are blessed, you're highly favored. God is for us. Who can be against us? We are on top and we're going higher. And that's the faith, the belief that we have. All right, we are highly, highly protected, and you are blessed and highly favored. So, just a quick read we have here the courting man, so professional male, and again, flip it you know, you could be a courting woman, but there is some obstacles or blockages, delays that's in the pathway. And this could have been caused by a blonde female or somebody with lighter hair. Their hair is laid back. So they may have some blonde color in their hair. So there is, you know, this person is probably causing this delay for, let me see, is it in the camera? Yeah. For this squirting man soulmate so maybe this sporting man is looking for a connection a relationship and it could be that this blonde female wants to block love for the sporting man by putting in obstacles in the way to try to convince the sporting man that they are a soulmate to them and then we have children childlike innocence fun so again somebody wanted to stop because you know with children or when you meet your soul tribe is like you just connect it's that thing it's like oh, your soul it's like you can relate to that person you can connect you feel as if you know this person or people for a long time you know this playfulness it comes naturally it's not forced so innocent you know, this childlike playfulness. This person wanted to block happiness. We know children like to play. They love to have fun. They didn't want this courting man or again courting woman to have fun. So they were putting blockages or things to cause delays. This blonde female dating queen, it says they're an opportunist. Going on dates, they want abundance. They just, they're there for the thrills. They're there for the things. These are gold diggers. They want gifts and flowers and, you know, material stuff. This is what they're all about. Very lustful as well. You know, love to show their skin and all of that stuff. So this person could have been trying to convince the sporting man that they're their soulmate, you know, you can have fun with me. So they were trying to cause a delay in their, their love life. They wanted this, this courting man who it says boss, entrepreneur, detached. Because, you know, when you're ice, you're cold. Your heart is like you're bitter. Probably hung up on the past, hurts, pain, anxiety, anxious. Putting fear in somebody. So they wanted this person to probably stay in this place, detached and cold towards a soulmate. We see they are a soulmate connection. Because again, you be crazy. It's like to know why people do what they do because of selfish reasons. You know, because... Mm, if this this courting man is an ice king who is a boss an entrepreneur so clearly there is money there and we see here this dating queen is about opportunists she's about what she can get the glitz the glamour the light the limelight the material things like i said you know that gold digger It's all about what they can get. So maybe they're trying to block love because then if this ice king stay detached, then they will benefit from that. 
they will benefit from that. Wow. Yeah, they didn't want you or whomever to have this passionate chemistry or feeling towards another person. Like I said, this person is all about, you know, the sports car, sporty stuff, trying to look youthful and young. When in fact, it's like this courting man, it says your spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul. So it's like light and dark, oil and water, they don't mix. It's like they don't come together because it's like this person, like the Bible says, two cannot walk unless they agree. So it's like this person is more into the material world while this courting man slash ice king is more into spirituality, spiritual growth, enlightenment, soul's growth, expanding, tapping into to God, you know, purpose and all of this stuff. This person, they're on a whole other vibration and see what they were trying to block. See, and this is all underneath the obstacles. What they were trying to block is this true gem. Somebody who is valuable, quality, jewelry, somebody who is priceless. They were trying to block, put in delays in this connection that was, and then you see children, again, it reminds me too of the Six of Cups, playfulness, memories. You know, it's almost like a past life connection. Nostalgia. Something that has passion and a lot of chemistry between two people, you know, who they're gems together. This is what this person was trying to, wow, see again, this is all about the physical, the fairer, the lighter, the complexion, you know, trying to, they're probably even bleaching. What is like whatever it takes to look appealing, to look pleasing to the eyes. This is what this other a person is here, blonde female. This is what they were into, you know, being youthful. Because again, it's like in order to attract those things. Because if a person doesn't like to work, they have to think about how they're going to survive. And it's about using what they consider to be their assets. And if it means their body you know, dressing a certain way, looking a certain way, you know, it's like they're willing to do it. You know, it's like whatever means necessary, whatever means necessary. So for you, you could have been this brunette female, dark hair, somebody who is intense and focused. Again, it's like you don't have time to play. I mean, look in her eyes. It's like you're determined, you're driven. It's like this is the person for this courting man, this ice queen. This, the mature, per, the person who you could be dating or flip it is a mature man or woman, older, mature in age. Again, this is what the delay was all about. Two people coming together here. Two people coming together. And you see how on this end we have the brunette female. So you could have been a female as well who is in your spirituality. Uh, you were in your king role. Maybe you are a business owner as well. You're a CEO. You're a boss. And somebody was trying to paint you out as if you're cold. You're not connected. You're not loving. You're not caring. You don't have a heart. To this person you know that you are not their type everything the flaws they were pointing out about you the negativity so they were probably pointing this out to the person you're going in a relationship which is a mature man hmm. yeah open relationship again these people are desperate it's like they're willing to settle with half a man peace a man Something that's no commitment, casual openness. This female or male, however you want to take it, 
again they are not into anything serious this is what i'm saying they are on two different pages because the man is looking forward into the future like we said before i said before you know looking into the his destiny his spirituality all of this stuff well i mean she's like over here like huh you know talking with her wrists just very vain kind of thing here not interested in commitments they just want to as long as they're getting the benefits you're paying the bills they can get the brand name this and all of this label stuff drive the car live in the house the jewelry that is all they're about they don't mind if they have to settle with a piece of a man whereas if you are this mature man or this brunette female you want something serious and i mean i don't know about anybody but for me there are just certain things in life you don't share i don't share i mean like whitney the song says i am every woman all the queens in one i am an empress and more So, therefore, I need no one to share anything with. Everything is inside of me because I think, and I mean to each his own, but I'm just saying for me. I'm not insecure like that. But like I said, a lot of these people, it's about an open relationship. And here we have no wonder this person was trying to create blockages in your way because it's like whenever they want something it's like they can come and hit you up for something see they were probably painting you out as somebody with a wallflower like oh you have limited potential you're shy you're withholding you're dull you're dead you're lifeless you know when in fact it's like you have because in the background here there is you know it's like life you have things going on but it's like you don't need to show off you have nothing to prove to others but again these delays were caused by people trying to paint a, a different view of you a different picture of you to this soulmate yeah this connection is destined for greatness, luck, chance, it was meant to be. And this is why this person, they wanted to block this, to delay this. Again, people work for the devil, y'all. And their job is to block. Because again, if, if, if you and your divine kingdom spouse or partner are supposed to go into what you're supposed to be, think about the shakeup the lives you're going to touch and affect by this love that's divine. I mean, so many people, they just smile for the camera, but there, I think there is just something so beautiful when, when love is organic, it's natural. You don't have to tickle somebody for them to laugh. You know, you don't have to clench your teeth for the camera. You can love. PDA comes naturally. Unlike when somebody only is only there for the night so that they can get some money to pay their bills, they can bat their eyelids and, you know, do all of this vain stuff in order to get things because really they just want to be free, be single. They don't want any responsibility. They don't want to be a wife. For some of them, maybe the only time they may think about it is if they see that you're moving on. Then they want to block it. So it's like, it's like I like you. I love you. I've always loved you. But no, they only love what they could get from you. Really, they want to be free. They don't want to have any responsibility. Heck, they don't even want a job to take care of themselves. This is why they have to go out of their way to do these things. Because people who are busy working on their hustle, their grind, no, you don't have time for that. You don't have time to fake. I think divine partnerships comes naturally. Yeah, so a lot of these people, they were gossiping. 
they were gossiping about true love about true love they were gossiping about true love yeah a lot of these people they were communicating so they were texting on phone they were doing phone calls they were also online peeping creeping as well see a lot of these people they wanted to control they wanted to control the outcome to take you know to take power over your life again like a puppet this is this these people were manipulating things in the background because they didn't want they didn't want two people to come together to date to have romance here yeah see again it could be young female it could be a dark male this could be about a home but they sure did not want you or flip it to have any fun or receive any gifts like i said these people they are all about triangle again three is a crowd three is a crowd to me crowded relationship choices so maybe a part of their delays was to create a triangle like illusion you know to this courting man or courting woman to say you have choices because again it's like Hmm. It's, it's like as long as if you can pick anybody else it's like you could pick anybody else who gossip slander talk you can pick anybody anybody who gossip anybody who wants an open relationship because maybe this person knows that if this courting man was to pick any of these low vibrational females toxic females then they would still have a hand in the relationship they would get to be a side piece. But see, so this is why they're trying to block something that is genuine, that is true. Something that is destined, that means it is divinely guided and orchestrated. Because they know that once you go into this connection that is God-centered, God-focused, there is no looking back. So again, it's amazing the things that people will do out of desperation so it's like they bring all these different females or males to you to distract you so that you would go the other way because it's like for example like the woman if they were able to send a dark male or in your life or send a young female to the courting man then that means the relationship between you and this divine partner it would not work they would forfeit it it wouldn't come to pass to manifest and i mean it's just so crazy because it's like i can so relate it's like i remember i think about the end of july last year i was to get an important call and it's like at three o'clock i was supposed to get this call and about 2.15, this toxic male from the past knock on my door out of the blue, no, out of nowhere. At 2.15, I had an important call at 3 p.m. I thought to myself, this is too good to be true. As I was opening the door, it's like the spirit said to close it. And, it, you know, I opened it a little bit, but as soon as he walked close to the door, I, I lock it back. Because come to know what was happening is that this toxic male was actually sent to me by another female, paid. Because he's a hussy, he will do anything for money. So they paid him to come to me to distract me. And then if I had, if I was foolish enough to engage in any sexual activity you know anything he would have had proof and then i would have missed the call so there is no way i was i would have been able to say i was not guilty so it's amazing how people are calculated and the evil extremes that they will go to in order to try to abort and sabotage your life because they're trying to have dirt on you 
they're trying to get some form false proof because already they're already telling this person that you're lifeless, you're dull, you're boring. You know, they have the magic, the tricks. They can, you know, turn it up and all of this stuff. And with you, there is no fun. They're finding all the faults, all the reasons why they should be afraid to go over to you. Even offering, whether it's you or the other person, a love triangle by being staying single is like you can have whatever you like kind of thing wow this is this is amazing wow mm. wow Ooh. and that's something yeah let's see so there was a lot of gossiping a lot of talking People were working together behind the scene to pull a lot of strings here. Like you can see, control. And even for a lot of you who have had people, even in your past, who interfered in your relationship, this is like, this is like how it happened. And it is so sad that a lot of the times, guys, I mean, I can, from even my own experience, I can say a lot of the men, who, when you go into their life and they have this toxic female or female friends, they become very jealous when you show up on the scene. And so this is what they do. And then a lot of the times the men, they don't try to go out to, they don't try to go out to get proofs for themselves. They go based off of what these liars they call friends tell them and then based off of that that's how relationships here with the death sometimes this is how a lot of these relationship ends because they choose the lies over the truth because why they're thinking that they have known this person these friends for so long they have no reason to lie to me right Versus you, you're new. They don't know if they should trust you or not. They don't want to lose the friends they have for how many years. For you, they just know for one week. Right? And then a lot of these people now, you're realizing they are in regrets. Because when the truth finally comes out, for a lot of people, it's too late. It's too late. But here, we're seeing too. You know, it's like with the death, there are like three heads here, three heads in the ground. And it's like she's flying on this hawk and she's not even looking down, but it's like the, the hawk is seeing these three people here and all three have swords coming out of their heads. I never seen this before. So it's like a lot of people, a lot of people were involved in this. And this is going to be the end of them because of the destruction that they tried to cause to your connection or they caused this. Yeah, for a lot of these people, eight of ones, this is going to come in quickly. For some of you, communication is going to come in quickly. So with the death, it could be that this relationship, again, because we know endings bring new beginnings. So it's like a, an end to a chapter. It's like closing out that cycle where all of these false people gossiping, chitter chatter. Maybe now this courting man or courting woman is putting an end to this, squashing this, shutting it down. You know, it's like, no, I'm not interested in y'all. You know, I know what I want. I know what I'm about. I'm tired of you manipulating, playing games with me. I know you just want to have a, a hand in my pocket. I know all of you witches are around here. You're just here because you want to reap what I have. And this goes for masculine or feminine. Because a lot of men out there, they will marry. They will stick around, you know, just so... They can be a side piece, come in, have their fling, and you you have to take care of them. So for a lot of you, this is coming to life and communication coming in quickly because see this blonde female wanted there to be some four of cups, missed opportunities here. 
But like I said, the wheel is turning in your favor right now. See, you're pregnant with potential. This is like the Empress. You're ready to give birth to life. I mean, again, you're just busy enjoying your life out in nature. And then you have these people in the background talking, doing all of this stuff. But again, that's a, the, the wheel is now turning in your favor. The wheel is now turning in your favor. Yeah, this brand new stable beginning with this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Five of Wands. All this toxic female was about competition. Five of Wands, jealousy. They wanted to put death and end into what you have coming in. You see, the dragon breathing fire, trying to kill your garden. While you are in your garden over here, like the Empress with the wheel, nurturing you know you have your chickens in your yard just minding your business the enemies wanted to put it out wow yeah you had to stand your ground with the seven of ones here you had a lot of opposition a lot of people came up on you here but you are protected it's like god showed up and showed out for you yeah these people wanted you to have a five of cups miss opportunity. You know, it's like, again, the delay was probably keeping this person in the past, tugging at their heartstring, you know, using the same old tricks. Again, the devil has nothing new up his sleeves. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh and the pride of life. That's all, you know, they're flashing, shaking, you know, and again, it's like the things that they used to trap you in the past. A lot of these people, this is what they're going, they will go back to. Because they knew that maybe when you were in your lowest vibration, that is how they were able to reel you in as well. But yeah, this is all about your four of ones. They didn't want you to have this home, this stable life. They didn't want you to have that. Or they wanted to seem out of reach because like she's out here looking over there. See, the light is over there. They wanted that to be out of reach. They didn't want this to come to pass, this four of ones. And this is why they work together here with the three of pentacles. They group up in order to work together. You know, we saw the triangle. They collaborated you know, it's like they were out manifesting things, doing whatever means necessary, spells, magics, you name it, so that they could stop this connection. But here, justice, again, God showed up. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. It's like this must pass. Page of cups, this shall come to pass. See, with this cup, this is the real cup. He took the fish out. It's like no more stinky offers. It's like with those people, maybe you didn't have to be serious. So, you know, you could present a cup with a fish. They don't care, you know, the smell of it as long as they're getting money. But it's like when it's true, you have to present only a true offer. A true offer. It's like holding it up, you know, to God, like... You know, this is a higher love, a higher love here. Yeah, see the Hierophant. A contract, something that's traditional. Maybe this is something that you are looking for. We saw the card, you're looking off into the future while this toxic partner is only about the, uh, you know, just the fluff, the lust of life, the material things. But you want something that is faithful, loyal, that is God-ordained. Something, again, it's divine, it's destined. Something that will also bring awareness to God. Glory will go back to God. Like, you know, this is what true love, this is what God's love is like. Because like I said it before, so many people, they just, they are portraying this falseness of what love is and then before you know it you hear they've been separated living in two different places 
for the past how many years or months. So it's like the world needs to know what true love is, what divine love is. And this is why the enemy works tirelessly over time to work with people in and through people like these to, to shatter your relationships. A lot of you, you've met people in the past. You knew you have a connection, the soul connection, and it just fell apart because the enemy was successful in having these people come between you. So here we have the world. Again, this is a successful completion. So a lot of these people, even though the enemy fought tooth and nail, orchestrated who he thought was the best of the best, we know that in the end, God wins. God wins. And now looking back, a lot of those people who left, you can say, thank God. It was not meant to be. It was not meant to be. You have no regrets. Because now when you see how your life has turned and all these stuff, it's like you don't need them anyway. Anybody who can walk away because somebody tried to paint some illusion, bring them false news. You don't need that person. You want somebody who will stand for you, fight for you, speak up for you. Somebody who truly have your back. Yeah, Ace of Wands, a brand new passionate beginning. I can't make it up. And the card here at the back, it's in love. A lot of these people didn't want it. They didn't want it. This card actually was in the reverse, the lovers. So I finish with the choices. No more choices. It's pure love. 